Hello there, this is just a quick demonstration of the facilities on this Cavendish portable organ which I rescued many years ago. It's basically the standard spinet layout of organs of the day. It was widely advertised back in the 1970s and a very brave budget attempt to cover all of the bases that a keyboard player in a band at the time might require as well as providing a versatile organ for solo use again very much at the budget end of the market so what we have down at the bottom is a standard 13 note pedal board which seems to have stopped working That's got it. Open the swell pedal and it works. Its level is controlled by a draw bar and there are three options sound wise 16 foot board and 8 foot flute and an 8 foot bass guitar sound which doesn't seem to be working very well today. The lower manual is just four draw bars, eight four, two and two thirds and two foot. That's the eight and four, add the two. The upper manual, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's almost the normal Hammond lineup. It's missing one draw bar. There are just eight, sixteen, five and a third, which are the sub draw bars in the Hammond system. Then eight, four, two and three thirds, two, one and three fifths, and one foot. And with a fairly basic full organ combination. <laughs> Of course the draw bars also allow the typical um, Hammond type synthesization of sound so you've got perhaps something approaching a clarinet the upper manual also has Hammond type percussion which is available at four foot. If I take the draw bars off you'll hear just the percussion sound. Two and two thirds and one and three fifths and also a repeat function if it were. Yeah. There's on all of the organ voices vibrato that's slow and fast and then there's a delay vibrato which comes in a little while after the note's been played which does add a bit of realism to sort of the orchestral sounds. That's straight vibrato, this is delay. And if that's all there was to it, it'd be a pretty limited instrument. All oh, down here as settings for percussion decay and volume and the repeat speed and a setting for reverb. It's a spring reverb built into the pedal unit. But what makes this instrument slightly special is this section here which is a string ensemble. I said it covered the basis of a typical band keyboard player at the time. So here you have violin 8, viola 8, slightly more mellow sound and the two can be added and what really makes it the string ensemble. 
standard setting is layered with the voices on the upper manual. I take the strings off, back on, so it adds a great deal of variation there, or the strings can be switched to the lower manual. Again layering with the other voices. That's a full string with the ensemble on. Also, on the lower manual, we get rid of the strings and the drawbars for a moment, is a very basic digital piano. Well, not digital, analogue piano. basic piano sound. There's also a clavichord. And a spinetta. And those are all fully polyphonic voices. There's a setting for long decay which seems to have stopped working since last time I used the instrument. There's also, if I go back to piano and layer it with the draw bars, there's a piano solo tab which meets the draw bars and also but doesn't mute the strings. So make of that what you will. That's what we have and a little later I'll post a couple of videos of the instrument playing pieces.